to bear Cassiano so now your body a Ryan some for from more now vetting a year Supreme Court judges are a buying up a woman and then they are to soon you know one more I'm not sure be the film one more and the total to one more no said you man or one more a bit to me I just said my penny power woman and I do a tear drum to see a justice you need to lend me yeah one or any other to know no you could have been agency when confronted with this matter we resort to rounds of France against the Electoral Commission and that should be the end of the matter. What would you say in the light of what, what I've said here? Thank you Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, first of all, let, let, let me say that I mean what, what the Supreme Court lays is the law and, and so um, my views or ideas or perspectives are just questions. But from my reading of, of 296C, um, my sense is that the regulations ought to be in place to lay the pathway as to how you propose to arrive at the number of constituencies, districts that you propose to, um, to create. Now, the reason is because, because 296, among others, is meant to midwife how you exercise discretionary power. To, to do the act and then Legislate how you did it later is to put the cat before the horse. It, I mean, and it's a question I'm posing. I'm not propounding an answer. And, and I prefer to make it a question because, having said that the, the law as enunciated by the, the, the Supreme Court is the law, and it, it, it can actually be, it, it will be, I'll be engaging in an unconstitutionality to suggest that the Supreme Court is wrong. That said, the Supreme Court is the only court that can change its decisions. And so I go back to my refuge that take my question for an answer. 